Hi hey guys, hope you enjoyed that sort of little intro loop. Adam here as usual, and today we're checking out two pedals from Stanley FX, who are not too far from me, which is always good. Stanley FX E Tap 2 HW Echo Unit and the Goldmine Reverb. Let's start with the Goldmine first because it's a bit simpler to explain. Digital reverb, but that does not mean bad. Digital doesn't mean bad. In fact, usually quite the opposite. Digital reverbs have come a long way since the sort of 80s when they were kind of grainy and dirty, which is also kind of cool, to now you can get really high quality digital reverbs in a stomp box this size and for such a great price. It has your standard sort of room reverb type emulation here in the digital, um, most digital pedals. And you've also got a shimmer, which is like your kind of octave up stuff. And then if you put that three-way switch in the middle, you also get just the octave sound without the reverb, and you can have octave down and octave up. It doesn't track brilliantly, but it works well enough, as you heard in the demo, that was using the octave for the kind of bass thickening sound. Really cool. Worth checking out the manual before using these, these pedals, especially the ETAP 2, as the knobs do different things depending on what setting the switch is in. But really good reverb pedal, as you'll hear. ETAP 2 HW, this is a complicated beast. It started out as a project designed to emulate the Hank Marvin, the Shadows kind of sound um, using the Miazzi, Mietzi, I think it's pronounced Miazzi, echo units from the sort of 60s. And those are pretty hard to come by until Mick started telling me about this pedal. I'd never even seen one. So it started off with just this, there's an emulation knob here. Seven emulations of various different echo units. See in the description below. And there's also a tremolo and a reverb built into this. Um, the patch thing works a little bit strange, so on some of the emulations it's kind of a linear 1 to 10 in terms of speed. And there's also the A, B, C, D, E and F patch system. Check out the link to the manual because I don't have time to explain it. And I don't have time to show absolutely everything these pedals can do. They can do a hell of a lot more than I'm going to show, but here's a couple of my favourite sounds. Right, so let's start first with the setting out the uh, the manual sort of pamphlet that comes with it for the Apache tone, the Hank Marvin Apache tone. So I've got that set up on the unit there, and I've also added in a splash of reverb from the gold mine as well, just to really give that kind of 60s country surf vibe. All right, let's give this a go. Stream settings of shimmer mode on the gold mine, and we're in the kind of the Vox long tom emulation, which is an unusual echo. And you can get those really atmospheric sounds, you can get them with a lot of other settings, but this one I find has, has worked particularly well. Tail. It's lush, lush, long tail. It's also got a very usable kind of tremolo, so if you are in a, a covers band or something like that and you need a tremolo occasionally, you don't want to spend a lot of money for something that does just tremolo, 
Um, interestingly enough, the Stanley FX ETAP 2H has tremolo in. So let's check out a little bit of the tremolo. Um, and of course a splash of sort of reverb from the gold mine. Of course I'll do the helicopter thing too, not really fast but probably fast enough. I've got time to show absolutely everything this pedal could do. God, I've had it for months and I still haven't explored everything that I can do. Let's just look at the delay now, just taking the delay alone, and it will work as a kind of more modern sound and delay as well. <laughs> 